Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're just gonna make a tiny little video where we tighten up some loose ends. Uh, many of you are wondering why this server over here started smoking. We're gonna look into that and I also have some servers over here that needs to be moved up uh, one slot. But today's video is sponsored by IBM. Never heard of them. But IBM wants you to know about their new flash system and therefore they will be sending me one of their flash system 5000s and I'm not sure which model yet but they promise it's gonna be all flash and I think it might be a 5030 or something like that. IBM has been in the market for more years than any of us most likely making storage systems. So they kind of have a little bit of experience on that. For many years IBM have been selling very high-end storage solutions for the very critical data center like banks and shipping companies and hospitals and areas where uptime matters. Now IBM wants me to tell you about their storage solutions for the small medium business. It's a 2U unit with a lot of disks and we're gonna have a very good look at that when it drops in. See for yourself, it looks like this. It looks like a server with a lot of drives. And um, yeah, they have a lot of buzzwords here. They say that the IBM flash system, formerly known as IBM Storage Wise, so they changed the name and, and that is kind of part of what they wanna come out with. New name, all flash and hybrid flash solution designed to provide entertaining great functionality without compromise. Yeah, the list of bossy words goes on. So uh, yeah, on to today's video. We are looking very much forward to getting the box from IBM so that we can have a good look at it. Okay, so I'm loosening the screws. I have not had this open since it uh, let out all of the smoke, which is, uh, by the way, a very good doing video. Uh, yeah, this server blowing up on camera did very well for my views. Awesome. So let's see. First, hmm, we have this switch here, which is the selector from 115 volts to 230 volts. And it could be that. So if that is it, that's really boring. But yeah, let's let me uh, get the camera in there. Okay, there we have it. It says 115 volts. So many suggestions said that that was it. So you were probably right. I'm gonna try and change that over. I have never, I have actually never changed one of those. Okay, so as many of you suggested, the, the voltage selector was set wrong and that is why it let out all of the smoke. Okay. It might then have come from the US and has just never been in use over here because I have not changed this. Otherwise it would have to have been someone that thought it was very amusing to change that. Uh, which, okay, it actually was. But yeah, if, when that selector is wrong, I don't think there is any reason for us to open this power supply up and check the insides. It's just gone. It's a very, very cheap power supply. It's from an old PC. We're not gonna bother. I'm gonna put the LED back on. And I do expect that the rest of this is good, even though it doesn't matter because the system board is so old. I had a few suggestions that my dating of this server was wrong and I kind of agree. Suggestions was that this board was from about 2000, maybe 1999, where I had found a date from about 2004. I do believe that it's closer to the year 2000 than 2004. Power supply blew up because the voltage was wrong. Okay, next tiny project is these three <laughs> IBM servers. Uh, M2s, X3650 model 2s. I want to move them one U up in the rack. And well, we're probably gonna have a look at one or two of them and see if there's anything interesting inside. Okay, I did just have a tiny look at it on the back of the servers because I had to make sure that there was no cables in it. And they do look kind of boring. So um, this one has three discs in the front of it. Oh, okay. Mm. 
So here we are. Let's open this one up, see what's hiding in there, if anything. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, this is still a good and very reliable server. Um, I have had a lot of these running and I have also done a lot of videos on them. Um, they are good servers. They have room for two CPUs and when the server was new that meant that it ran the Xeon 5500 series. But when the next generation of CPUs came out, the X5600 series, well there was a firmware update available for this server and it can run the smaller versions of the 5600 series. Uh, CPUs up to a TDP of 95 watts will run in this server and that means that uh, the fastest CPU that I have seen running in these is the Intel Xeon X5675 which we have done a video on and um, yeah that's a good CPU it's a CPU that is affordable it's a 6 core CPU and it's a 3.06 GHz I believe it is it has riser cards the normal riser cards are these X8 riser cards there is the unicorn of riser cards available for it the one with the x16 slot and that is so rare and that is why i call it the unicorn so there is nothing special in here it has four blocks of eight gigabyte ram so 32 gigabytes in this server so let's um let's just move this one and have a look at the next one so to release the rails here you press this little lever up and this one comes out and then you press the blue button in here and you can kind of take this up and we're just gonna leave it there for a little bit i need to release it in the other end uh, we're just gonna do the same thing over here press this little lever up push this out blue button there so on the back it's almost the same thing you press the blue button and then it releases enough um, to get it out of this square which fits very nice in these squares. All so the rails are in in the back so now we just have to lift them up uh, one U. So that means it goes in here and you just press it in and it locks into place and then you push this one in there and this one locks it in place and it's not going anywhere. It's a bit more flimsy than what you saw on the M1s up here. These are built like a tank. They got cheap on the metal there. And we're gonna put the server in. Okay, next server is out, number 12. I don't know, I probably should rename them. I have done something special to this one, I see that. So these servers has their RAID card sitting right here. There is a good chance that this is an MR10. Um, it looks like it, but that was not the special thing. The special thing is this riser card over here. I have opened that up. Um, these are X8, but this one has been, the end of it has been removed so that it will fit a graphics card or an X16 card. So if we have an X16 card here, like this graphics card, it will actually go in um, and stick out that way the graphics card will still work it just can't use all of the bandwidth but it will still work so um yeah that's a ninja hack i have done a video doing that very scary business but these riser card are not very expensive so if you should break this card it's only a matter of a uh, 30 dollars or something maybe 20 dollars if you're lucky and you will get a new riser card whereas the graphics card that one was expensive i have also tried on another project where the riser card was the expensive part of it and i just cut off the graphics card instead just took the cheapest part to uh, to fix or ninja hack other than that oh i'm gonna put it down otherwise i'll forget about it let's see we have some good ram in here we have 16 gigabyte blocks one two three four five six seven eight nice so a good server yeah but nothing else and i have ninja hacked my own power cable here that was the days now um, these are available so i made that one but i have one here that is uh, is available <laughs> so if you ever want to make a total fool of yourself well just mount a server all by yourself with other people around all with a camera there is all the chance in the world that that can go wrong 
So um, it's um, there are some slots that it fits down into, and you need to line those up, and they're pretty hard to find. the first time. What are the odds? It's not rocket science as how this works. This blue lever here, you press that up and that makes the server go in. You have to do this one on this side and there's an, another one on the other side. And, well, you have to do them on the same time. Then these are the slots that holds the server in place. There are three slots. One there. You need to get that one first when you're putting it in and then put the server down that way um, that's the easiest at least it's as if uh, the slot goes in somewhat and to release the server you, you pull these white ones out here this one holds the server in place so that it cannot be lifted up but as soon as you push this to the side you can lift up the server and we can kind of see that I'll do that I can lift up the server and it comes out of the slots and I have to be careful not to drop it on my feet or anything else you can see this is locked but push that up and that comes in and there we are last one of the three servers let's see if anything interesting is hiding inside does not look like it yeah, four gigabytes of memory full of those four times eight that must be 32 so there are 64 gigabytes of memory in this server same rate controller two cpus and i have done no ninja tricks to this so okay i'll just we'll just move it up okay that is done we had a look at the servers we didn't learn much well so in this video we learned that ibm is sending a flash storage solution for us to uh, look at uh, they want it back they are kind of expensive but we need to figure out where to put that when it arrives really nice problem to have it can fit down here or we can put it up here where the cardboard box is um, then we figured out that i should have checked that power supply before applying power to that weird karaoke point it's some kind of a firewall box because it let out all of the blue magic smoke when i did that that power supply was just set wrongly to the power that I apply. So, well, that sucks. I would have rather that the power supply had died all by itself and uh, not that mistake. Other than that, I think there is nothing less to say, but uh, to, well, remember to give this video a like in the likey thing. And thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.